Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful day out here today. Okay, well, those of you that are following along in the drama uh, got caught up with uh, New Orleans and her drama. And, uh, yeah, I wish you guys uh, could see that how how it, how I can get caught up in this and uh, how the energy, because I did come back to help really traumatize people. And New Orleans was very traumatized. You know, she lost her son and she's in uh, a lot of pain continuously because of uh, disease process. So, yeah, she's who I tend to go to to help and I just simply... Uh, can't see deeply that they're going to bite back. And for all of you who are loving and open to the information that I have to give, it uh, just takes one to really kick me to the curb. So, of course, Stephanie has grabbed my computer and the phone <laughs> and put me on hiatus. Uh, I do have this phone that I could talk and still work on my book, but she... Uh, and we agreed. She didn't. She doesn't take control. She agreed a few days off of not communicating at all. It was a good idea. So I wanted to try to explain a little bit how um, probably the only thing that she's annoyed by me to this day is my desire to help people. I know she's frustrated uh, by me continuing to try to help people whenever uh, that kind of thing happens. And energetically, she can see it as well. So, but if you look at it from the w the way I look at it, whenever I'm introduced to someone who is who is asking for help, I once I see you guys, I see all of you guys. You know, all of who you are, the entity that you are, and this life, uh, this little part of you, is just a teeny tiny little speck. So, since I'm a big picture person, I see the all that is the entity, and that little speck of here on this planet, um, it gets me whenever it's snuck up. Now, I put out that video, and I think I'm going to have Stephanie take it off, because, um, yeah, I think it's reached those who I wanted to reach to, and I'm just not comfortable with being out that emotional thank you thing and it was interesting that the very first comment was from New Orleans where she attacked full boat the very first one which tells me that I've still got some fear to deal with when it comes to dealing with humans because you know I create everything in my life too so I am drawing that kind of negativity now there's very little of it you know very few very seldom but when they do get through, it's pretty uh, substantial. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that dirt on Naya video up. So if anybody brings it up from now on, I can just refer them to that video. Now, there are also other things about me of people that I'm sure that I've made mad over the years, given that I'm heading towards 60. All of us have. But I can't think of anything else dirt wise that that could be put on that list mainly I've been spending a lot of time you know defending myself and fighting over the years that's what I've eventually ended up creating so just uh, I'm gonna do videos here and work on my book kind of relax a little bit um, all my love to all of you guys and uh, I'm gonna practice really feeling and accepting uh, the love from all of you and the protection, the interaction, those vibrations, because I have not spent a lot of time on this planet uh, doing anything but kind of shielding myself from everything. So um, I, I don't know how to shield against some things and not others, but I, I, I don't know why, but whenever I take the shield down a little bit, I, I tend to let, let in the lower vibrations instead of allowing the higher. So I think I'm going to work on that a little bit. Uh, like, like I tell you guys, I've never tried to say that I was some great, holy wahoo, 
I have always told you that I'm just a regular person with regular problems, regular issues, who had an exceptional experience. You all are just as amazing as I am. And all I've tried to do and what we'll continue to try to do is get you to remember who you are because uh, we're all amazing and this is an amazing journey and uh, I'm in it I'm walking it along with you guys so but on this video I wanted to talk a little bit because I've had a couple of people say things to the effect of when I died I went to the fifth dimension and I want you I want to clarify these different dimensions and when I died did I go through the fifth dimension yes I went through the fourth and the fifth dimension but they happened very 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 quickly very quickly um, and it was actually per, very much at the beginning of my death experience I hate to say near-death experience because to me I died and to me they're divided out like this that near-death people are people who uh, don't go very far whenever they die like right above their body or um, like uh, where ghosts go but very very close to the vibration of a live human uh, those are near death people and I have listened to a couple of those people like you guys you guys know I don't watch near death experience things but I have watched and talked to several people who have had near-death experiences, uh, my neighbor for one. And I, I talk about how the near-death people, they're all full of rainbows and butterflies and very, very happy when they come back because they think that they have escaped something horrible. And then there's the dead, dead people. And usually the dead, dead people go much further out and uh, feel that a taste of that love that they talk about peace um, bliss whatever there's a long list excuse me and they usually are very unhappy to be back in body and that's how I tell the difference there's the dead dead and the de near dead and I would classify myself more as the dead dead person so when I had my death experience um, I went way beyond the fifth dimension because the fifth dimension, as you know, we when I started talking to you guys or when we were not too terribly long ago, well, a few years back, uh, depending upon who you are, we were in the third dimension and we have gone into, since everybody since 2012 has gone into the fourth dimension. Now we're all in the fourth dimension and I doubt anybody uh, knew that they had made that transition that are listening to this knew that they made that transition from the third dimension to the fourth dimension so that same transition will happen going into the fifth dimension so we're not that terribly far away from it on a vibrational scale scale when you're talking about the all that is and so the fifth dimension is definitely a part of this creation it is a part of the dualistic creation. And when I died, I went outside of this creation very, very quickly. So I floated above my body. Check that out. And then uh, I stepped way outside this creation or barely in this creation and watched kind of sideways and watched people die and go to all kinds of their beliefs of where they would go when they were died to the point that I understood that everybody goes where they die where they believe they go when they die unless there is no belief in place at which point they go back to the all that is or outside and back towards the all that is or the entity that they uh, were before they came into body here so I did that the, at that point is about right after that is when I stepped outside of time space and outside of time space I was very quickly uh, zooming around way outside of this creation 
So when I died, I did not go to, I did not go from this death from 3D to 5D. Okay, I went through all of the dimensions in this creation and outside of them, beyond them, and outside of this creation altogether, and um, revisited many other creations and outside of that grouping of creations and beyond. In the process of doing that, I did merge kind of in and out with what people have said, merging with source or going with the all that is, uh, moving in with the I, all that is, or considering there's no such thing as time and space. When you're outside of time and space, you're always merged with the all that is at the same time that you're zooming around doing whatever else you're doing. And I know that will be hard for you to understand because you are in time space. But I just wanted to let everybody know that fifth dimension is not after death, okay? Now, you can die. Inca, stop pulling my chair. Inca, 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 Inca. Sorry, guys, hold on a second. Uh, you can certainly die and come back into a physical body in the fifth dimension, and many people will do that and have done that. But you don't die and go to fifth dimension like that, okay? It is a place where Gaia is still playing the role of a planet. The fifth dimension is a place where it, that is in the dualistic creation, creationary game. And it is a place that you can, certainly you can die and come back in the fifth dimension, and you can play the role of a, of a planet or uh, any of the aliens, any of the plants, animals, uh, insects, birds, and fish that are on this planet or any other planet. You can come back into human form after you die. But this is not where you go. Fifth dimension is not where you go when you die. Okay? It is like the third dimension, like fourth dimension, exactly the same. So when you die, you don't go to the fifth dimension. Now the, the choice here is whether or not you want to stay in the physical form that you are right now and kind of zoom up through the vibrations onto the fifth dimensional planet Earth, Gaia, vibrating in the at the vibration of what we are now, I am now calling fifth dimension. Do you want to try to do that? Is that your goal to stay in the body that you're in and to move through those vibrations very quickly to match the vibration of the planet Earth as she vibrates on the fifth dimensional um uh, frequency do you want to do that or are you going to stay in the fourth dimension while you're in this body that I'm talking to right now and die and be incarnated back on fifth dimensional earth as a human or as anything else that I listed or are you going to stay in fourth dimensional earth die and go out of creation altogether and go play a different game altogether. Um, or, well, you know, there's infinite numbers of ors, but those are some basic outlines. But I've had a couple of people that, that I think have said something or written something to the point that they're getting the picture. Honey, stop. Tearing up my chair. Uh, that they get, the, that I get the impression that they're getting the feeling that that fifth dimension is a, a die in heaven place, and it's it's not. It's just a it's it's just Gaia vibrating at a different rate, and as it's vibrating at a higher rate, then it looks different and different things occur on the planet 
she will be in her uh, most pristine self because fifth dimension is right before uh, she starts lowering vibrations into what you would call uncomfortable, painful vibrations for her and for you. So it is right before that starts to occur, but she is still in duality in this creationary game and uh, to the point where she is the most, shall we say, physical before reaching that place where physicality and du physicality in duality starts to become uh, painful, more good and bad. In fifth dimensional, in fifth dimension in this creation, uh, there is duality. There is still contrast. But there is not what you would consider good and bad. It is more, uh, from your perspective, better and, and, and best. That's more what it's like. Like fourth dimension and third dimension is a perce perception of, okay, your perception of good and bad. It may be different than the person, well, it is different than the person standing right next to you and certainly someone who is born someone somewhere completely different where they were raised with completely different belief systems um that there's that there's a difference in an argument or a, a disagreement on what is considered good or bad now in 5d uh, the fifth dimension earth and all the rest of them there isn't arguments about it there's an understanding that my, I'm going to look out through the fifth dimension, and I personally am going to prefer this or that, and you are going to prefer this or that, and we look at each other and understand that. There's no argument there. There's no taking it to a lower level. There's a discussion usually on, okay, why do you think, for you, why is this better for you than this? And we share that information back and forth, all beings do. And from that perspective, that sharing of the physicality of duality is at its finest, in my opinion. All things are possible. Um, all, in the midst, about the mid ranges of 5D, there is, as I've said, instant manifestation. There is the ability to go in and out of time-space. There is the ability to easily and quickly merge with Source or the Akashic Record or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, there's uh, telepathy, so there's instant comprehension and understanding and effective communication between everyone at all times. Uh, all the entities that are on the planet. So it was from this understanding, this uh, perfect, dualistic, physical planet that everybody was staged to go to the lower and lower and lower vibrations. And as uh, entities raise back up, then there'll be a perfect staging to be ready for uh, stepping outside of time and space and remembering completely who you are and going back to that if you so wish, wish to do that. Okay, does that make sense? So, 5D is not heaven. Uh, although you can die and go to 5D, you're going to incarnate back into some kind of a form to get back in the fifth dimension in this creative, um, in this creation. But you are back in this game, this creationary game of um, amnesia, different phases of amnesia, and duality in the physical form. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully so. Okay, well, it is absolutely beautiful here, so I am going to spend some time in my precious forest with my lovely animals. And uh, last night I was... You know, out here and everything was quiet, and I heard some snorting because we've got wild uh, pigs out here. And I really did not think that they came this close, but there was one that was really close. 
I'm not really familiar with these animals, so I'll be fascinated to get out and see if I can uh, get a little bit closer to them, see if I can communicate with them. I'm really spending more time uh, uh, looking peripherally, seeing these magical beings and communicating with my, my oh, favorite trees and animals and see if I can do a better job of that. Um, and trying to stay happier and happier and uh, I'm going to put out these videos I am going to do my book but uh, yeah this is twice now in about six weeks that I've kind of gotten kicked to the curb by a single individual that I'm trying to help in the comment section so I'll go back to um, my few phone calls and um, emails with a few people number of people that I email back and forth to and then try to stay away from the comments as my uh, daughter frowned and said I told you not to do that <laughs> so uh, I think the best way for me to help everybody is to stay in a happier and happier place and just uh, one at a time have these questions that I get for myself pick up that this phone do videos and send it out to you guys and uh uh, I think that that will be the best help that I can be, at least in this stage in the game. And I'm not going to worry too much about the future. And uh, I'll go see and meet the, the people that I have interacted with and I feel comfortable with going to see on my, on my trip east. And, uh, yeah, I think I will probably move forward with the, uh, the website and with uh, forums and maybe women webinars but I think I'll stay away from the one-on-one -on -one. I, I, I think the one-on-one -on -one is where I just simply um, can't see him coming can't see him coming and I don't want I want to be at my best and and give you guys the best information those that are uh, truly looking for it and can hear me and that it's helping you Remember who you are and break that amnesia. And I don't think I can be at my best uh, when I am trying to uh, defend myself against a single person. And that's not fair, I don't think. And that's not why I came back. I don't. I, I don't think that's why I came back. I think I came back to help um, anyone who really is looking for that help. Not that New Orleans wasn't looking for help. I think she is. So. Um, don't be angry it's that's just her game and like I told you if you um, give them information and that they don't want to have when they're in the midst of their game they will bite back pretty hard so uh, rather than try to guess and keep up with everybody on their timelines and my timelines and whether or not I'm interfering whether or not I'm not I think I'll just um, avoid the one-on-one -on -one and just do these videos to everyone and uh, except for the people that I am emailing and the people that I am uh, going to visit on my trip, then uh, for now I think we'll just keep it to the videos and working on the book. And I think that that's the best. So uh, for everybody that I, uh, so for everybody that I am communicating with, um, I'll see you in a couple days. I'm gonna go take a sabbatical out of my woods i think i can catch a couple more swims in the pond uh, when the sun is high even though it's uh cooling off a great deal so i'll enjoy that as i say goodbye to that form of interaction with water and then soon i'll be up in the snow and interacting with water in a different form so i hope you guys have a fantastic day huge hugs to you I love you guys so, so much, and uh, don't forget, a little bit happier every day. Alrighty? Alright. Bye now.